Hey everybody, today is going to be somewhat of a different uh, game pickup video. This might be become a vlog as well, but uh, hey, listen up. I don't have like a ton of time to edit uh, a video this week and probably next week as well. So we're just going to do it this way, like raw, unedited. <laughs> I hope you will like it. But yeah, there's not going to be uh, like any gameplay footage as well. So uh, yeah, just use your uh, imagination. <laughs> So this is just gonna be, uh, again, like really unedited and uh, I will probably ramble a little bit, but uh, I will keep the time in, uh, in mind, like how long it will take. Also, if I make a mistake, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> because yeah, editing these videos, like uh, to be honest, edit, uh, right now I am waiting for the game pickup video to finish that is gonna be uploaded, uh, yeah, in a, probably 15 minutes or so if I see the time it is a video about the game convention in Hogeveen so yeah I already need to prepare next week's video and uh, I've been feeling a little bit sick last week uh, no energy at all uh, in some shots you can actually see that <laughs> from the game convention video but with that said though like yeah I'm sitting on the ground right now um, near the Super Nintendo and the NES uh, collection. Uh, I received some, well, this is also part of the Game Pick video. I received some uh, protective sleeves again. Uh, so very happy about that. I got a very nice tag, uh, got a couple for the uh, NES because there, there are still some not in a protective sleeve or case. Uh, but yeah, most of the Super Nintendo games, like uh, almost like 50% of them, are also not like protected at all. And I just like having these uh, boxes around them uh, so that there's not like any dust in them, and uh, that they will, uh, yeah, stay like kind of like in a in a in a good state though. Um, so yeah, that is something that I really need to do now because this has been bothering me for quite a quite a bit. Uh, you know, it's fine, but. Ah. I need to do that. I, I just need to do it. So I pulled the trigger and uh, bought some uh, cases. Um, I also might have to, well, no, this is a game pick of video. <laughs> uh, and a mix with a vlog though. But yeah, I got a couple of PlayStation 4 games. So it, it might work out as well that I don't uh, implement like any gameplay footage because Capturing PlayStation 4 games, it is not much of a hassle, but just a little bit like too much though, because I need to use my PlayStation 5 to capture uh, those games. And with every game, uh, small tangent, uh, with every game uh, that I just received, I need to install it, I need to play some of it. So whenever I get like a new game, for example, I picked up Tormented Souls, uh, I will talk about it in a second. Uh, it, 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 it will take a long time, especially, uh, you know, if you have like a couple of games and, uh, I don't mind doing the work, uh, it is kind of like a fun thing to do. And also, you know, it kind of enables me to check out the video game, but if I want to like record a gameplay for this, if I have like five games in total, it is probably going to take around like six hours or so. Uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, it requires a lot of time, especially capturing the footage. Uh, that's just something that I really like to do, uh, that I use my own footage instead of like downloading it from the, from the internet, from uh, like another YouTube channel. Uh, I don't have like an issue with crediting people uh, like others work, but it's just a ton of hassle as well to download it, to check the quality and uh, it's a whole thing. So yeah, uh, got some PlayStation 4 titles that I am actually very excited about. Um, let's let's try this out, by the way, that I uh, follow my face a little bit because I, I am all over the place and I uh, keep, uh, it is working. So now I can move around. Oh, very nice. So oh, what's over there? Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, picked up already showed it, uh, Tormented Souls for the PlayStation 4. Yeah, this one is still sealed. Uh, I always keep my games sealed uh, until the moment that I actually play them. 
it is not like I collect sealed games, um, I guess. No, it's not like a main mission to collect sealed games. But yeah, I picked this one up for a decent price from the top of my head. It was like around like 15 or so. And I don't think... It is a survival horror game, by the way. Uh, very similar to something like a original like Resident Evil 1 or 2. Um, my understanding from, uh, you know, Reddit reviews and Metacritic and other videos, this one is like somewhat decent. Maybe not like the best survival horror game, but uh, yeah, for 15 uh, euro, I, I felt like it's probably worth it to check it out. And uh, here and there, I try to collect like uh, the horror games for the PlayStation 4 because I like horror games and also... Uh, I could see these games like go up in price like later on, especially if they are from a smaller publisher. I am gonna say or guess that P Cube is a smaller publisher. So yeah, very happy that I was able to pick this one up. So Tormented Souls. There's also a Switch version, but uh, you know my uh, my. My goal or my priority is always like, hey, if it is like a 3D game, I rather pick up a PlayStation 4 game instead of the Switch version. Which Switch I do I collect Switch games? Yeah, here and there. Uh, you know, of course, the first-party titles I will pick those up, and um, if it's like a third-party game and it's more like 2D ask, then I will go for the Switch version because chances are it runs a little bit better. But yeah, for PlayStation 4. Or for these type of games, I, I rather go for like a PlayStation 4 game. Um, yeah, this one didn't get like a Switch release. Like the original Nier did though. I, I'm talking about Nier Replicant. Now I wanted to pick this one up because I, I like Nier. I like the soundtrack. I like the, uh, the style of game uh, that it is. Um, I really like, enjoyed like the first Nier. Uh, played that one on the PlayStation 3. I do have it on the... Well, I still have it on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox, but yeah, never had a chance to check this one out, though. And uh, it seems like a very good remake. Is Yeah, I think you could call this one a remake, because it's a... Uh, um, yeah, it's a remake, not a remaster. Uh, but yeah, just... I really like Nier. Um, uh, I like the... Um, what's the latest one called? Nier 2. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, I, I like the newer near, near, uh, but I think I have a soft spot for the first one because back then, uh, you know, you didn't know what near was about, and uh, it was a completely like a new experience to me at least. So I really enjoyed it, like how fake it was with the story, and like I was always going on like what is actually happening over here, and just the combination with the soundtrack um, itself. Uh, it was just a very awesome experience uh, to me. Uh, so yeah, very uh, uh, yeah, very excited or kind of curious to check this one out, and uh, hope it is also decent. And maybe um, yeah, maybe it will uh, evo kind of like the same feelings again with uh, after uh, not having played near for a very long time. So uh, yeah, pick that one up. I think also for uh, like fifteen or so. Listen, PlayStation 4 titles are quite uh, cheap uh, if you wait for a while. And um, I think picking up like a new title such as this for around like 10 or 15 or so is just a very good deal. Because, yeah, the price could go down a little bit maybe, uh, maybe on the second-hand market. But uh, like 15 for a new sealed game. It is probably not going to go down that much. Uh, so... Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good deal, maybe. Another one that I picked up, uh, very happy about this one though. Uh, it was somewhat of an unexpected uh, pickup. Um, that is that I picked it up at a flea market a while ago, uh, I think two, two weeks or so, from the comments that I should check out Semi Showdown on the PlayStation 4. Uh, because those are, I, I think the uh, uh, the render is probably done, so I need to upload like the the, the latest pickup video. Um, a little bit behind the scenes, 
Um, but yeah, I got a tip to pick that one up. Uh, but yeah, I, I saw this one and uh, the thing, I never really played a similar showdown game. Uh, but yeah, the thing that always stands out to me with these games is like the pixel art itself. It, uh, they, they just look awesome. I, I really like the look of Samurai Showdown. I, I should probably look out for the Super Nintendo game. Um, but let me know if that is actually a decent version of Samurai Showdown because I'm not too sure. And uh, I do, I, I think I would like it to have it in my Super Nintendo collection. It's not like the biggest collection that I have. I only have like two rows of these and um, uh, but yeah, I do think I have a very decent Super Nintendo collection though. Maybe I should make a video about that one uh, uh, someday. Someday. Too many videos, man. But yeah, the this one, it is a collection. Uh, but yeah, this one has Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown 3 and 2. Wow. And Samurai Showdown 5 and 5 Special. And also Samurai Showdown 5 Perfect. So after three iterations of Samurai Showdown 5, they nailed it. It finally became perfect. But yeah, this one, um, like I said, picked it up at a flea market. And I picked it up with another game. I think that was Dead or Alive 5 for the PlayStation 4. Um, got a small discount. And um, I don't know what happened with Dead or Alive 5. I might have actually traded that one in. Uh, to pick up a different game. <laughs> might have, might have, I'm not too sure. Yeah, the December I showed down the Neo Geo collection. Also why I was happy that I was able to pick this one up because I did not see it that often on Vinted. And also uh, the publisher is Pix and Love and it's still listed over there for 30 or 40 new-ish, around between like 30 and 40. And I was almost tempted to purchase that one. So glad that I was able to pick that one up, pick that up, pick that one up over at the flea market. Because listen up, flea markets over here, they are, I don't want to say terrible, but they are kind of terrible for video games, um, especially where I live. Uh, it, it is a very rare occasion when I see a video game over here. So whenever I do see one, I'm very happy and it's already like, oh wow, uh, there's a video game over there. Like, look at that, a video game, wow. Another one <laughs> that I picked up, and it's also still sealed, uh, it is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Collection. Uh, now, I do think I want to pick up the Switch version, but that one uh, stays very, uh, you know, at a steady price. I never see it go down or uh, go on sale, or when it is on sale, it's like five euros cheaper. That one hoovers around like 35, but this one, I think I picked this one up also for maybe 17 or so around there. So yeah, uh, I was thinking, well, let's just pick this one up. And uh, when I get like the Switch version, then make a decision if I'm gonna keep this one. But yeah, again, for 17, it is a very cool collection. Um, does it actually say which games are in here? Uh, there are 13 classic TMNT games in one incredible incredible package. Features online play and local couch play for certain games, save anytime and rewind, regional releases, button mapping. Wow, you can actually map the buttons. And a unique trove of the development art and media. And that is probably very cool with a collection like this if, when they include like the art and other media. But to be honest, I don't think I ever check that stuff out. Uh, maybe check it like for the first time and then completely forget about it. Hey, I like the turtles, but yeah, it's cool. But I, uh, I, I do wonder, hmm. I was gonna say, I, I wonder if this one has like turtles in time. That is definitely my favorite uh, Super Nintendo game. Uh, I do need to check out like Hyperstone Heist at some point, the Turtles game for the Sega Genesis. Uh, it is one of the Genesis games that I actually do want to add to my collection. Again, a small sidetrack. For the Sega Genesis, I do have like a couple of games, uh, but I do want to limit that just to 10 games total. And uh, the only games that I really want are like the 
like yeah if you were to suggest like hey if you want to check out second genesis genesis games these are the games that you need to check out so uh already own like contra hardcore uh in box sadly without a manual very happy about that one i imported that one like in a year and a half ago or so i do own outrun and uh, Ghosts and Goblins, or Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, whatever the title is on the uh, Sega Genesis. So those are the three. I am eyeing uh, Castlevania Bloodlines, but I do want to like have the Genesis version, so the NTC one. And I'm also looking for the, um, well, the Turtles in Time. Uh, th does that one actually have like a different subtitle, like the, uh, the Genesis one, or is that actually also the Hyperstone Heist? Hey, listen, here's a small correction. What I'm saying here is that, uh, or my question was, if there, if the uh, Mega Drive version has actually a different title than the Genesis version, the Hyperstone Heist. This here is not me saying that Turtles in Time is also available on the Sega Genesis, because of course not. The Sega Genesis is not powerful enough for Turtles in Time. Just so you know, I just wanted to add that. Uh, correction and uh, some explanation for the mistake that I made over there. Thank you. Bye. But yeah, that one is also super expensive and so is blood, Bloodlines. Uh, but yeah, definitely not in a rush to collect those, but you know, really limiting my Genesis collection habit because at some point, like a couple of years ago or maybe a year ago, it almost got a little bit out of hand because I'm completely new, new with the Sega Genesis. And like the Sega Master System, uh, but yeah, kind of stopped collecting for that because, yeah, Nintendo is my jam. Well, the final game is uh, that I picked up, also sealed, uh, is actually Samurai Showdown, the game that was suggested to me by the comments. Uh, pretty much appreciated that, by the way. That tip, um, sadly, don't know uh, the name anymore. Uh, it's been a couple months ago, I guess, that comment. Uh, but yeah, got the um, got this one sealed as well for, I guess, also a very decent price. Um, not the price that it's on the box though. It says uh, ninety five ninety nine. Why is it not ninety ninety? Uh, it's fifty nine ninety ninety nine, not ninety nine ninety ninety five. So listen, I know that I just made another mistake, and I do want to clarify in. Uh, explain myself on what just happened i said 95.99 when i uh when i saw the label but that is not how i read it like i know it said 59.99 uh i was only confused by the 99 part because often you do see like 95 uh but that is not the bigger issue the issue is actually that i said 95 the problem lies within the fact that in the netherlands when we say that number in dutch uh we say, you know, for 59.99, we say 59.99. So we start actually with the 9 uh, instead of starting with the 5. Uh, now, now you know. I, is, I, I do believe it is a common mistake. But yeah, got this one. I want to say around like 20. Uh, got a good deal on it. Uh, also, listen, this game... Um, I was looking for it because it was suggested in the comments. I did not see it that often. I saw like maybe three copies or so or so on Finted. Didn't see any on the uh, like Dutch online marketplaces and also not in any any store. So um, yeah, very happy that I was able to find this one. Um, it seems like a very uncommon title and so far like I have not played it yet because it's still sealed. Um, but yeah, it seems like a very decent uh, decent game. Like yeah, people are quite happy with this one. But uh, again, it seems like, like a rather uncommon title. Anyway, so those are five PlayStation 4 titles that I picked up. And uh, um, let's see, uh, these are the games. Will you? Boop. Uh, I think I'm the most happy about the Samurai Showdown and also the Neo Geo collection because hey, listen, if you have watched my GameCube game pickup videos, you know like I'm trying to learn and train 
um, like getting better at fighting games on the consoles or just in general uh, because I'm terrible at them. And uh, that is why Samurai Showdown was actually suggested to me because apparently it's kind of like easy to get into. Um, a near re replicant, kind of curious about that one. Uh, if they did like a good job with a remake, what what is the title again of the other near? So you got a replicant, Automata. That's the one. Uh, good game though, but I li I like the first near. Anyway, um, let let's do one final thing. I I'm just gonna grab a, uh, a random NES game from the shelf and actually say if it's a good game or not. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's Time Lord. It is decent. Uh, it is a very funky title, Time Lord. Uh, am I happy that this one is in my collection? Yes. I'm going to say yes. At some point in my life, I uh, was thinking uh, I'm going to go for a complete NTSC collection. Uh, but um, I think uh, I have decided that... Uh, that is just not 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 doable at all, no. So uh, I'm happy with my collection, and here and there I try to pick up some NES games, uh, NTSC. I do have some PAL games that are exclusive for the PAL region. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, I mentioned this a while ago. I think in a different game pickup video, what I'm gonna do for the NES is actually find out if there are some um, yeah sub collections. Uh, that I could create over here, uh, for example, Capcom, like collecting all the Capcom games for the NES. Still, again, like a 20 minute video, but uh, no gameplay footage and uh, probably no edits at all. Maybe like here and there to uh, add some uh, or remove some noise. Uh, next week video is probably gonna be the same because again, it's, it is rather busy and I need to pick up uh, some other work that is, uh, yeah, that I have proposed, postponed a little bit, like game development stuff. Uh, so I need to start working on that right now. And also, yeah, the video is done, so I'm going to upload that one. I hope you all will or have enjoyed that uh, game pickup video in the game convention in Hogeveen. Had a fantastic time over there. Still happy about the, the games that I picked up over there. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, again, hope you all don't mind a video like this. Thanks all for watching and again, as always, uh, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing to my videos in the last couple of weeks. Highly appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let, leave them behind. I always read them. Yes, I always read them and if I can, I will reply to them. Uh, that is going to do it. Uh, see you all later and have a very nice day. Bye. Whoop.